Hi, I'm Emery Node here at the Appalachian Bluegrass Shop to answer the questions how to identify different mandolin manufacturers or makers. Um, first off, um, the subject can be somewhat tricky because a lot of the times um, uh, manufacturers will copy um, the shapes and styles of some of the great manufacturers with a good example of the, um, this Collings here, which is an F-style. We have a Weber, which is an F-style, and Eastman, which is an F-style. And to look at all three of those instruments, they are very similar to one another. These are just um, uh, reproductions of a very, very popular style of instrument. So uh, the best way to identify an instrument is with its manufacturers on, on labels and logos. Clearly, on the headstock of this instrument, we have the name Weber. Um, clearly, on the headstock of this instrument, the name's Collings. And clearly, on the headstock of this instrument, the, the manufacturer's Eastman. And to look at the logo, you should look at it and make sure that it looks authentic, that it hasn't been altered or modified in any way. Um, you know, to make sure that it is the authentic um, looking logo. Uh, sometimes you also, if on most manufacturers, will place inside the F hole um, a label telling the serial number, the make, the model, um, all the details about that particular instrument um, will be found inside the um, F hole of the instrument. Or if it happens to be an oval hole instrument, you might find the label inside the oval hole. Um, occasionally, you'll find an instrument that is an authentic instrument that does not carry any um, brand. For example, um, this Gibson A style mandolin we have here is clearly marked the Gibson. And looking at the, um, the logo and the way the Gibson was cut, the logo was cut, the type of script, the word the, um, can also tell you what year the instrument was also manufactured in. In, in some sense of accuracy. Um, different years the logo would change and they would change it around, what have you. Also, you would find occasionally with lower end models, such as this model, you'll notice there's no inlay in the fingerboard. Um, there's no binding around the, the sides of the back. The headstock's very plain. Um, this would be a lower model than what this model would be. And the Gibson, company didn't even take time to put a name on the headstock. It was completely blank. And this is most likely the way this instrument came from the factory. Um, however, if you look inside the F, the round hole here, you'll see a label that says, you know, the, the Gibson Company, and it has the patent dates and the model number and the serial number and the guarantee from the um, company. If you were to have an instrument like something like this, it has no identification on the headstock, or the paper label has fallen off, the glue is let loose, and the paper label has, has, has departed ways with the instrument. Um, there's things about an instrument that um, uh, someone who is familiar with the different brands can look at and pretty much identify as being one brand versus another brand. Um, but you've got to be careful because a lot of times people make counterfeits look very accurate, and that should be left up to someone who's got the experience in you know different styles of instruments, so the you know obviously the best um, thing to know is um, the logo on the headstock, the label on the inside. Also, different manufacturers would sometimes have different type of headstocks. The way the, the way the woods cut on this instrument versus the wood cut on this instrument would tell you that's a different manufacturer. Um, this one does not have a logo on it. This one does not have a paper label. But on the inside, burnt in the back of it with a stamp, um, it states it's, it's a Martin mandolin from Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Also a very good way to tell. Um, there are many, many, many styles of mandolins, many, many manufacturers over the years. So once again, it's always a good idea if you have a question um, concerning the type of mandolin and possibly who the, ma who the manufacturer is, it's always best to consult an expert, someone who has got knowledge in that field. I'm Emery Node here at the Appalachian Bluegrass Shop to answer the question how to you identify different manufacturers of mandolins.